Where are we at, babe? We are at the 2024 Florida RV Show, Super Show. Just walked right in, first day of the show. There's a lot of people here. There's some of the Lance truck campers. Really small. That's how much it is. That's ridiculous. Twenty-five. Really, really small. That's all the floor plans down here. There's all the different floor plans for the Lance. This one is the eight fifty-five. Check out that MSRP. That's crazy. This one's a little bit bigger. It's got one slide out. But not a whole lot to do with it. You guys got them all out here, don't you? And they say they're a four season. This one's a little bit bigger. You're good. You're good. Go check out the host. <laughs> yes, that's where I'm going. This is the host. At the host setups. And this one is going to be a cascade. So Cascade is just the one slide out. So if you're short, you're easy getting in and out of bed. I'm trying to see what kind of solar it has. So this is the host Yukon. This is what we have. Just trying to see if anything's changed. There's your dealer price and MSRP. Has the off, off grid extreme thousand dollar rebate. But it looks exactly like the 2023s. I really don't see any difference between the 23 and the 24. That's all the same. And there. Uh, now the door the mechanism is new here. That's new. So I don't think that's RV lock anymore. We have a Yukon. Oh, right off. Just trying to see if there's anything what different. 23. Uh huh. Which class is it? Did you say last name? What's your last name? Smith. Smith. Okay. I'm a sales okay. manager there at Host. Okay. What's your name? Matt. Matt? So he is from Host. He's not from the... Oh, okay. I just talked to Dan yeah. yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just trying to see what's anything... It looks the same, right? It doesn't look like anything. I noticed the door lock has changed. We've got some new things we're doing now. What are you doing different on this one? 
Well, we have white countertops. We're doing all the units now. Oh, white? Yeah. And we're doing induction cooktops now. That's kind of new. And that's being powered off the, the solar also? The induction? Yeah, it can be. Yeah. And then we've got some new recliners we're using. The Rec Pros versus these. So, all right, so this is the Mammoth. So, now that I'm... Now that I... <laughs> You guys are out of Jacksonville? Oh, it's been a while. We are. Okay. Where you at? I'm putting you on YouTube, man. Where you at? <laughs> just north just north of the loop. North of the loop. Yeah, I'm right off 95. What's the name of the, the dealer? Dean HRV Center. And you guys are in North Carolina too? We are in North Carolina as well, near yep. Raleigh. Yep. Yeah, All right. Apex. Cool. And and you want anybody to talk to you? They can call us, yep. Our, our website, dhrvcenter.com or truckamperemporium.com. What's your name? I'm Dave Hofer. Dave, okay. All right, thanks. Uh -huh. So this is the mammoth on the inside. No changes at all. <sighs> Nothing really changes, but there's a bunch of changes for the Yukon that we'll talk about off video or out of here. Okay, guys, before I forget, I want to talk about a couple of things that we talked to Matt with about what they're changing. So on the Yukon or any of the ones that have the couch, they're actually letting you change out that couch to the Rec Pro for the same price of the original couch, which is a highly recommend that you do. So check out that. And they're also going with an induction top cooktop instead of the gas burners going with induction. Pluses and minuses with that, you have to decide which works best for you. We do a lot of boondocking, so we like the gas. But those are the two things I wanted to tell you about before we forgot. So if you're gonna order a, 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 a host, highly recommend that you go with the Rec Pro instead of their standard couch. Okay, that's it. Okay, these are the Northern Lights. Prices. The Northern Lights don't have slide outs. None of the Northern Lights have slide outs, baby. Just kind of give you guys an idea how much these are going for. side it's actually it looks like it's pretty nice just solid wood it's probably going to be a wet bath it is there's my stana donna said she would we would kill each other if we were in the northern light because they're so small Here. SRP, but they look like they're pretty well built. I mean, they're not, they don't look cheap, like, looks pretty solid. So, I have to climb up on that bed. I do like the pass through window, they're all pretty much wet baths. We have the back porch though. I do like how the windows open this way. We're supposed to that. Because you can crack these open and not get the rain in. There's a show price and MSRP. Actually, there's a lot of people looking at the truck campers. Typically, you don't see that. Truck campers don't really get looked at a whole lot over here on the East Coast. But I do like these windows. They're double paned. I like how they open this way instead of this way to keep the water out. I do like that. Again, host, take note. So 
not so busy on this section, but if you go into the exhibit halls where all the stuff is at, you feel like you're a cow going through there with all the cattle. It's crazy. A lot of people are here. Right, Donna? Say right. Say what? Say right. Right. Well, these are the Cirruses. So these are real tiny. God, I can barely fit through the door. <laughs> so 6'1", 220 pounds. This is not a man's unit for sure. Wet bath. <laughs> not much to them. I think this one even has a bathroom in it, guys. Bigger and better. So, again, no slide outs. I do like that. Have you been in this one, babe? No. This is the biggest one. So this one has a dry bath. I didn't see a price on this one, though. I should call this bigger, better. Let's see if I can find the price. Let's have the back deck. Show price is not on this one. It's not listed. So kind of give you an idea what the crowds look like. It's kind of thinned out a little bit, but it's still pretty busy. This is on the uh, exhibit room B. We're on our way out. If you have any questions please reach out and again thanks for watching and please subscribe and like and then uh if you have any comments of any suggestions that we could do please let us know thanks